Mr. Chandra L. Ramprakash is a progressive aqua farmer from Malaysia. He has been demonstrating the feasibility of modern engineering technologies to provide clean water and aeration in closed aquaculture systems. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, mainly Dr. K.K. Vijayan, Dr. Kumaran, Dr. Vimala, and Dr. B. Minakumari, and everybody here. I would have missed out a lot of names here. I represent uh, uh, an input from completely a different uh, industry and uh, to know a little bit about our background for commercial activities. We are involved in, in too many automations which is not related to uh, sort of like uh, biosystems which is happening here. So. Uh, the reason I'm showing you what, what we do in the past years, we are talking about 30 over years of our experiences, is to say that how other industries which is not related to aquaculture can contribute to reduce your cost of production, especially. And uh, come back to this, uh, these are past, our past jobs. So don't be surprised that I'm talking on other subjects. Talking about the Indian ship industry, we have very good engineering uh, teams in our organizations. I felt that I should share all our findings because most of it is easily copyable. It is, it, the inventions is, even though you can pattern it, but you can just copy paste it and you can benefit from it. So it is better I, I voluntarily share our inventions and a lot of other things. As, you, as I showed you earlier, we have done a lot of sewage treatment plants, swimming pools, jacuzzi, sauna, structures, electrical, electrolysis units, water purification systems. All these things are related to aquaculture, whether you like it or not, team parks. We purify the water something like 10 times more cleaner than uh, drinking water. So which is related to aquaculture and we do it in the most frugal manner. Okay, we, we do it in a very frugal manner. What I'm trying to say is we can't afford a very expensive systems which an ordinary farmer could not buy. We do not want to do that. As a farmer myself, I, we always must embrace a lot of other technologies which we can contribute and develop it. So, uh, coming directly to the point, I've been uh, toying or practicing on many other aeration uh, technologies. But here in uh, India or surrounding countries, mainly we see is pedal wheel is the king of aeration systems. And anything else is second. And as we all know, it is invented in the 60s or 70s. And uh, you're going into the science of aeration, and uh, we also operate a lot of farms in Malaysia, Myanmar, and also in India. So, Coming back to this, after playing around with too many systems, too many uh, sort of like uh, uh, sort of like technologies, I, I just wanted to say that the best for now I see is we need something that uses very less, too little moving parts, most efficient oxygenation. That's all you need. You don't need uh, expensive one or imported ones. So uh, now. The word around is they are talking about micro bubble generator, nano bubble generator and everything. So we toyed around with electrolysis where uh, you, you electrocute the water and then you get a lot of oxygen. But what happened is there's a lot of sediment. We failed after some time. So we keep on trying. We, we try to do so many other things. Sprinkler system and you, you just name it. So finally now I like to share the best which we are practicing and to be done is turbine aerator. Okay, it, it, don't don't mistaken between the jet aerator and others. Turbine aerator is is going to be the next one because it's been widely used in Japan and uh, European countries, Israel, I believe, and such. And uh, the comparison of power usage will be something like uh, uh, one to five. Whatever amount of energy you use for pedal wheel, you only use one-fifth of it 
to do your oxygenation of your pond. And it has almost maybe few hundred percent less moving parts. And uh, this is coming. You still can create, you can create waves in it. You can uh, sort of like go deeper. You can go up to three meter or more. The oxygenation will happen. The, like when I use it for my pedal wheel, I can go for 1.5, 1.6 or two meter maximum using pedal wheel. This, you can go maybe three or more, the depth. That means more input, a lot of other things. So as such, I suggest, um, mainly I think SIBA have done a lot of, are doing a lot of work on these kind of things. Uh, we are willing to share whatever we have and uh, we can work together, all right? So, uh, okay, I, I wouldn't know how to play the videos actually. So, uh, I have said what, what is needed. So, the micro bubbles generated stays more in the water, more longer. It's not like, uh, you know, it is easy to control. Everything is uh, electrically controllable. And it will give you, for sure, a lot of profit and cost-cutting measures. Thank you.